Hi students, this is Ramalakshmi, Physics Faculty. Today our topic is Electric Field Strength Due to a Uniformly Charged Rod. Here, first case is at an axial point. So, we want to find out the intensity of electric field at a point P. This point P is located on the axial line of A. Uniformly charged rod. So, let us start our topic. Consider a rod. Length of this rod is L. And Q amount of charge is distributed uniformly on over this rod. Charge per unit length. Lambda. Lambda is equals to charge per unit length. Q by L. Here this charge distribution is continuous charge distribution. So, Coulomb's law is not applicable for the continuous charge distribution. So, that's why do one thing. Let us consider a smallest element on this rod. Very smallest element. Length of this smallest element is dx. And the charge on this element is dq. So dx is very very small. Then the charge on this element also very very small. It behaves like point charge. So due to this element, the intensity of electric field produced at this point we want. The distance of separation from this end of the rod to point P. Let it be R. Here total length is L. So the distance from first end of the rod to point P. Then it becomes L plus R. And now from this element to point P. This distance is, let it be X. So, X is the distance of separation from the smallest element to point P. Now, what about the charge on over this smallest element? DQ is equals to charge per unit length Q by L into length of the Smallest element dx. So dq is equals to q by L into dx. So intensity of electric field at the point P due to the smallest element. De is equals to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught into dq by distance x square. And we know dq. Substitute dq also that is equals to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught in place of dq. Q by L into dx by x square. But we want the total intensity of electric field due to the uniformly charged rod. Take the integration. So when we take integration, then it gives the total intensity of electric field at this point P. So total intensity of electric field at the point P is equals to integral. And the limits are from R to L plus R. The distance from this end to point P is R. And from this end to point P is L plus R. So limits are from R to L plus R. 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught into Q by L into dx by x square. Here 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught is constant and Q by L also constant. So integration from R to 
L plus R 1 by X square into DX. So, integral 1 by X square is equals to minus 1 by X. So, that is equals to 1 by 4 by epsilon naught Q by L into minus 1 by X and limits from R to L plus R. So, first substitute upper limit minus lower limit. So, minus 1 by in place of X upper limit L plus R minus lower limit then minus of minus becomes to plus. So, plus 1 by R and take LCM. 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught Q by L into LCM R into L plus R minus R plus L plus R. So plus R minus R get cancelled and also in numerator L is there. Denominator also L is there. So then L L also cancelled. So that is equals to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught Q by R into L plus R. So this is the formula to find out the intensity of electric field at a point P on the axial line of a uniformly charged rod.